But let me tell you the one thing that doesn't make sense in this book. Then I've been a follower of Jesus for 30 years and I'm still going, are you serious? It's Romans chapter five. Romans five, verse eight. It says, God demonstrates his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Okay, that is crazy. That is insane. I understand we're guilty. You made all these little people. They rebel against you. So I understand punish them. What doesn't make sense is that the Bible says that God wanted to demonstrate his love for us in that while we were rebelling, God says, okay, here's what I want to do because I'm also a loving God. I'm a fair God. I must punish sin, but I'm a loving God too. And God looks at all of these people. He looks at us and he goes, but I don't really want to punish you. I love you but I have to punish someone, so I'm gonna show you the greatest act of love ever. I'm gonna have my son take the form of a man. I'm gonna have him come down to that earth that I created. And I'm gonna have him nailed to a cross. I'm gonna have him take the wrath of this whole world. I'm gonna take him who knew no sin and I'm going to have him become sin on your behalf so that you might become the righteousness of God through him. You guys, this is crazy. So I deserve punishment? Me, this little created being. God made billions of us. And he looks at me and says, you should be punished. But because I'm a loving God, I'm going to have my son punished instead. Okay, that is unbelievable. 